Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Mustafa, 50-year Browns fan. And I just have to comment on something that I noticed this year that most fans should really feel good about it, is that I'm noticing during the OTA films that there's a lot of camaraderie. There's a lot of brotherness. Uh, there's a lot of togetherness. And I, I've noticed this team is starting to gel together, not just on the field. This carries over into to them just having a good personality together. And uh, I'm really happy to see that. I think that's going to transfer onto the field, and there's going to be more unity this year. Go Browns. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Um, Brad, I, I know it's still early. You, you certainly get that feel. And, and um, Jim Schwartz was that guy that kind of started that with the defense. I think Deuce Staley is very similar type of personality. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it starts with, you know, it's the continuity first, right? Like, so I believe we saw this last year, right? Uh, playing for your brother, playing for your teammate. They were, you know, the sum is greater than all, all the cliches, right? Uh, they all were true last year about this team. And uh, it's part of what made them really special. Um, and so when you return 20 of 22 starters, right? Uh, and even your depth... Uh, all the way through the 43, uh, a good majority of the guys are back. It's easier to recreate that camaraderie and recreate the buy-in when you have uh, such a, a leadership core there, right? Um, so you see it on, at OTAs. You do get that feeling from watching it. I, I think it's real. So uh, it does have to carry over all the way through the Greenbrier. Every season is its own entity. We've talked about that. But um, it's easier to recreate. Uh, when you have all these guys back who have been through it together and they have right pre-existing relationships, you know what I mean? So um, I certainly think that uh, the caller is correct that you can see it. 